In this video, we've got a box of mass 10 kilos is attached to the end of a light elastic string. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point. So let's draw a diagram. Here's our box. It's attached to a fixed point, like so. And it's got a mass of 10 kilos. It's got a weight of 10 g. The box falls vertically under gravity and is traveling with a speed of 5 meters per second when the string becomes taut for the first time. So it's dropped and then it gets to this point where the string goes taut and then it's going to stretch after that. Okay, so we're going to take time as zero at the point where it becomes taut. So we know that when t is zero, the speed is 5 meters per second. So x dot is equal to 5. At time t seconds after the string first becomes taut, the extension of the string is x meters. So that's telling us that initially x is zero. While the string is taut, the forces that act on the box are the tension of the string, where the stiffness is k equals 100, so we've got the tension of the string, which is going to be 100 times x, and the weight of the box, where g is equal to 10. So this is going to be 100 newtons. Formulate a differential equation and solve it to find x in terms of t. So we're going to use f is equal to ma. Taking downwards as positive, we've got the 100 newton force. Take away the tension of the string, which we know to be 100x, and that's going to have to be equal to the uh, mass times acceleration, which is 10 times x double dot. OK, so we've got that. So then, if I rearrange that, I get 10x double dot plus 100x is equal to 100. Divide through by 10, x double dot plus 10x is equal to 10. So this is my differential equation. I now need to solve it to find x in terms of t. So I'm going to use the auxiliary equation, which would be m squared plus 10, sorry, just 10, is equal to 0. So m is going to be equal to uh, plus or minus root 10i. So that means that the complementary function is x equals, uh, because there's no real part, it's just going to be c1 cosine of root 10 times t plus c2 sine of root 10 times t. Now I've got this equals 10 on the right hand side, so I'm going to have to use a test function here. So we're going to test x is equal to a, but differentiating that, we get 0, and x double dot will also be 0. Substituting in, we get 0 plus 10 lots of x, so 10x, so 10a rather, is equal to 10. So a is going to have to be equal to 1. So our general solution is c1 cosine of root 10t plus c2 sine of root 10t plus 1. That's my general solution. So now I can substitute in these puts here. So when t is 0, x is 0. So we're going to get 0 is equal to cosine of 0 is 1. So we just get c1. That's going to be 0 because sine of 0 is 0 plus 1. And so c1 is minus 1. So we now have that x is equal to minus cosine of root 10t plus c2 sine of root 10t plus 1. Now I'm going to have to differentiate it to use this second bit of information. So x dot differentiating would be uh, root 10 sine of root 10t plus root 10c2 cosine of root 10t and the 1 differentiates to 0. So when t is 0, x dot is 5. So we get 5 is equal to sine of 0 is 0. We're going to get root 10 uh, times c2. So c2 is going to be 5 over root 10. Now, does that nicely simplify? Root 10 over 2. Okay, or half root 10. 
So we have x is equal to minus cosine of root 10 t plus root 10 over 2 sine of root 10 t plus 1. Okay, and what you're seeing here is simple harmonic motion because here, right, there's no damping effect here because there was no e to the minus t on the front. Okay, so this is just a nice sine curve where this is centered around 1. Okay, so um, you could work out, write that into harmonic form if you wanted to and figure out what it's actually going above and below to, so what's its minimum maximum. Um, but you could also work out from that if the questioner had included what's the first time that the string is taught, you would need um, what's the maximum extension and at what time does that occur. Okay, so those other problems can also be involved.